If you're considering getting a Labrador, you won't be disappointed, as they are a popular breed. You will undoubtedly have many questions, including how to care for them, particularly grooming their beautiful coats. You may also wonder whether Labradors shed. Watch till the end of the video as we explain shedding patterns in Labradors, probable reasons, and methods to control. To start with, let's understand about the shedding of Labrador and what makes this breed shed. Labradors have a unique double coat that sheds throughout the year, but shedding can increase during seasonal changes. In the spring, they shed their winter coat to prepare for summer, while in the fall, they grow thicker coats to keep warm in the winter. Double-coated breeds have two layers of fur. When looking at dog coat genetics, each hair follicle will have one to two top coat, guard, hairs and several undercoat hairs. Puppies are born with a single coat but will start to develop their adult coat from three months of age, lasting until they are around one year old. If you think that they shed because of their color, here's what you should know. All colors of Labrador shed the same, whether chocolate, black or yellow. Coat color has no impact on the amount of shedding or grooming required. It's a complete myth that one particular color will shed more or less than another. All labs have the same characteristics, no matter their coat color. What's the shedding season of Labrador like? Labrador shedding season occurs twice a year, specifically in the spring and fall. This is when your dog will change or blow his coat, which takes two to three weeks, sometimes longer. Therefore, lab shedding season occurs during September, October, or November, and March, April, and May. Your Labrador changes his coat when the seasons change, allowing him to adjust to the new climate. He will shed his old winter undercoat as the weather warms, making room for a lighter summer coat. When the weather becomes colder, he will shed his lighter undercoat and acquire a thick, warm coat in preparation for the winter. This allows him to be comfortable during the entire year. For about two to three weeks each time, his thick undercoat will begin coming out in clumps. You won't fail to notice it flying everywhere. The shedding will be quite intense during this time while your dog molts all of his dead undercoat. Now, let's talk about the much worried aspect, abnormal shedding. Labradors may shed suddenly, outside their typical pattern, due to health reasons. Causes include a poor diet, dehydration, allergies, parasites, stress, and anxiety. Less common reasons are hypothyroidism, Cushing's disease, underdeveloped hair follicles, pregnancy, or a medication reaction. Experts can distinguish between normal shedding and fur loss caused by health, nutritional, and environmental factors. The following signs and symptoms can identify abnormal shedding. Dry or brittle hair. Irritation, open sores, blisters. Bald patches. Dislike of petting. Now comes the much-awaited section, how to control shedding in Labradors? 1. Get a Labrador de-shedding tool. The best way to groom your Labrador is with a de-shedding tool designed especially for a double coat. These tools cater to your lab's dense undercoat and dig out any loose hairs that might otherwise be spread all over your home. They are ideal to use when your dog is blowing his coat. You'll need to use this tool twice per week during this time. 2. Groom and bathe your lab 3-4 to four times a year. Though you won't be able to prevent the hair clumps from eventually falling out, bathing and brushing him during these times will assist in getting rid of more of it at once. Instead of letting his undercoat fall out naturally over the course of this period, you can loosen any leftover fur and remove it at bathing time. Never overbathe as this strips your Labrador's natural oils causing dry skin, which then causes further shedding. There are also special de-shedding dog shampoos to loosen the undercoat during the bath. Also, let's talk about flea treatments with respect to grooming. Flea treatments will not prevent your Labrador from shedding, but they will stop him from scratching and nibbling at himself excessively if he gets a tick or flea. The more your dog tirelessly scratches to release himself from the discomfort of fleas or ticks, the more fur he pulls out in the process. No ticks and fleas mean less scratching and less shedding. 3. Switch to food that targets the coat and skin. Inexpensive dog food is largely made of ingredients that some dogs have difficulty digesting, such as corn and grain, not to mention added preservatives and chemicals. Instead, choose dog food with a high-quality protein source as the primary ingredient. A protein deficiency results in a dull and unkempt coat. If your choice of dog food doesn't contain adequate oils, 
Another alternative is to add a little olive oil to his food. Olive oil contains omega-3 fatty acids that support the skin and coat. Check with your vet first on how much to give your dog. 4. Keep your lab hydrated. You might not even realize it, but allowing your Labrador to drink more water daily can reduce the amount of shedding. That's because dogs will shed more when they're dehydrated. You can improve your dog's overall health and reduce the amount of hair that ends up all over your house by giving him about one ounce of water for every pound of body weight. So, we have come to the end of the video. Let us know if you have any other doubts with respect to shedding in Labradors.